all right guys so i want to make a video about how we can remove the uh, uh, the crankshaft pulley out of this engine uh, this is on a 7.3 uh, liter engine uh, the, the reason for this job is because we have a crack right here in the reservoir all right uh, what you will need is this is this kit here is the part number uh, and it's the right one uh, I got this one in O'Reilly's uh, it's a rental tool so what you need to do is just find or get the right bolts uh, for the right threads on the poly and tie it up all those three and even even all around uh, to make sure uh, or to know how we can even it up it just put all the way in tie it up all the way in those bolts all the way around so but then before you start in removing any poly or whatever it's very important to put this uh, chiming mark in the dead point this is the dead point for this engine right here so this line has to go right here but if it's moving or something keeps moving it uh, just make sure when the pulley goes out or starting to move it not going anywhere to leave a mark in the dead point see the dead point is this one so this is the timing mark it's very important the alignment and this uh, pulley okay but if it keep moving or whatever before then totally or completely comes out just make sure and leave a mark All right let's start removing it I already uh, starting now uh, removing it this thing uh, it comes up pretty 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 easy just keep turning tie it up until this big boy goes out okay Let's make sure that this thing goes all the way down, okay? It's very simple. You just tie it up, the knot, and this thing will come out by themselves. Okay? Uh, as you can see, mine, it's, it's already almost out. And let's see. All right, there it is. Here's the poly. I leave my mark for in case or whatever the reason is I always prefer to leave a mark everywhere it's easy for me to assemble all this thing all this uh, parts back so here is the crank shaft right there so here's the quality out 7.3 baby